My name is Lieutenant Dave Dial. I am the uh, material and transportation officer on board the USS Iwo Jima. Uh, one of the things that we're responsible for, besides the inventory aspects, uh, is the RAS, right? So the replenishment at sea evolution. So, so far this deployment, we have brought on 2,500 pallets. Uh, that's supplies for, uh, as far as parts are concerned, that's uh, mail, uh, and that's also food especially food. We brought on about 1,200 pallets of uh, food so far. The RAS that's going on behind me right now is about 150 pallets. Um, that's kind of a small RAS. Uh, last week on the uh, Millie Earhart, we took on 450 pallets. Uh, and probably two weeks before that on the Amelia Earhart, we brought on over 530 pallets, and that's kind of a record. Uh, 2015, the EWO brought on 460 pallets. Uh, we beat that by 70 pallets and it was a pretty seamless, seamless uh, evolution. When we pull into port and we get, say, 200 pallets for uh, pier side of food, it's gonna take, uh, take us 12 hours rather than two hours by a RAS. So that same number, 200 pallets, we can get on board in you know, less than two hours for a RAS. In port, we're struggling for 12 hours. That's crane operations, that's forklift operations, This is kind of where the sailors and the Marines get to uh, get together, uh, come, come to one mind for the mission. Uh, there's not many departments on board that are not involved. You have the Air Department up top side who will take uh, pallets from the uh, helos. For the CONREP station over here, uh, we've got deck division putting in uh, hours and hours. Uh, they're also dealing with a lot of fuel, right? So we have to fuel up out here. Uh, and really the replenishment at sea evolution is all about resupply.